Hi children, hello, welcome to your home school. This is your class 7 mathematics MCRT or CBSC board. And we are in our second chapter, fractions and decimals. This is your last session. Okay, this is your last part of this chapter. So, we are in our exercise 2.7, fourth main, find. In our last session, we have done with the decimal division with the 10, 100. Okay, similarly, you are going to have this mean. That is, we are going to divide a decimal value by 1000. So, look here. 7.9 by 1000. Same pattern, children, it won't change. This decimal point will be shifted. Three zeros you have, right? After three values, this point is shifted this side. So, that means 9, 1, 2, 3. So, point. This is your answer. Have to find children. Write this 9 here and write the number and start counting from here. Decimal point should be shifted after 3 digits, right? 1, not there anything. So, write 0 and say 2. Write 0 and say 3. Okay, after these 3 values, you need to put a point. After before point, you need to put one more 0. This is your answer. Okay. So, see the next one. 26.3 divided by 1000. How can you write this? 26.3 by 1000. 1000, how many zeros are there? 3. So, this point should be shifted after 3 values. Right here 3, right? Start counting children now. Don't write point here. 1, 2, 3. Put a point and write 0. This is your answer. Okay. So, move to the third one. 38.53 by 1000. Now, write 3, 5. Okay. So, from here, after 3 values, you need to shift your point this side. 3 zeros there, right? Start saying 1, 2, nothing there. Write 0, 3. Put the point and 0. This is your answer. 0.03853 is your answer. So, look here. Fourth one. 128.9 by 1000. Three zeros. This point should be shifted after three values. So, right here. 9, 1, 2, 3. Put a point. 0. This is your answer. 0.1289 is your answer. And last one, fifth one, 0 0.5 by 1000, right? Write the answer here, 5. Now start counting, 1, 2, 3. Put a point and then write, this is your answer. 0 0.0005 is your answer. Okay, this is the way we divide children. Observe carefully, understand the technique. These are all very simple. See the fifth main children. Find 7 divided by 3.5. Have to do this one. Same manner. Look here carefully. 7 divided by 3.5. Rewrite this decimal children. 7 by 35 by 10. Now, this 35 by 10 bring up what? 7 into 10 by 35. How can you bring up word? Do the reciprocal. 35 by 10 is 10 by 35 and multiply. Now, if you want, you can cancel 7 ones are 7 fives. That will be again 5 ones are 5 twos are 10. Your answer is 2. Therefore, 7 divided by 3.5 is equal to 2. Okay. So, check carefully. Check the value carefully. 7. Don't write 7 by 35 into 1 by 10. Don't write. See here where you are putting your bar. You should see this carefully. Right. Next one. 36 divided by 0 0.2. 36 divided by 0 0.2. Remove this decimal. 36 by 2 by 10. 36 into 2 by 10 bring to the numerator by doing a reciprocal. 
that will be 10 by 2. 2 5s are 10. Multiply 36 5s are how much here? 5 6 are 30. 5 3s are 15. 15 plus 3 will be 18. Therefore, 36 divided by 0 0.2 is equal to 180. Say the third one. 3.25 by 0 0.5. 3.25 by 0 0.5. Okay, convert this decimal. 325. See here, how many value decimal places you have two. So, two zeros. Divided by 0.5 means 5 by 10. Now, bring to the numerator this one. Do it the reciprocal. 325 by 100 into 10 by 5 1010 zero, one zero cancels 5 6 are 30 5 5 are 25 so what you are left with 65 by 10 you can write it as 6.5 is your answer therefore 3.25 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to 6.5 is your answer see the next one 30.94 divided by 0 0.7. This decimal value convert. 3094 by 100 into, directly I am writing children, 10 by 7. If you want, you can write like this. 10. Okay, next step if you want, you can write this. 1010 zero, one zero cancel. Right? 7 4s are 28. 2 is left here. Again 7 4s are 28. 1 is left 14. 7 2s are 14. You are left with 442 by 10. Rewrite as a decimal. 44.2 is your answer. In the next one children. Fifth one. 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.25. So, write as it is 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.25. Now, remove the decimal and write into fraction. So, that will be 5 by 10 whole divided by 25 by 100. So, bring to the numerator, do the reciprocal and then multiply. 100 by 25. 0, 0 cancels. 5 5s are 25 and again 5 1s are 5 2s are. Therefore, your answer is 2. Therefore, 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.25 is equal to 2. See the sixth one. 7.75 divided by 0 0.25. Remove this decimal. 775 by 100 by 25 by 100, right? 775 by 100 and bring this set to the numerator children. Multiply, do the reciprocal. 100 by 25, 100, 100, cancel. Then 25, uh, th three is uh, 75, right? 25 ones are 25 that will be 31. Therefore, 7.75 divided by 0 0.25 is equal to 31 is your answer. Say the seventh one. 76.5 divided by 0 0.15. That equal to remove the decimal point here by 10 divided by 15 by 100, right? Bring the denominator to the numerator. Do the reciprocal and then multiply. 1010 zero, one zero will be cancelled. So now what happens? 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15. Now, 3 table. You can cancel or not. Check it out. 3 ones are, 3 twos are 6. 16 there children, 3 5s are. Again, 1 left. 3 5s are. 
So 255, 3s are 765. Now we are left with 255 into 2. That will be 5, 2s are 10, 5, 2s are 10, 11. 2, 2s are 4, 5, 50 is your answer. Therefore, 76.5 divided by 0 0.15 is equal to 510. See the it one here. 37.8 divided by 1.4. Remove the decimal. 378 by 10. Whole divided by 14 by 10. Do the reciprocal here into 10 by 14. 10, 10 cancel. Right? So now... 14 table, can you guess? You can guess. Otherwise, with small number also, you can cancel. 2 7s are 14. 2 table, let us check it out. 2 1s are 2. 1 is left here, means 17. 2 8s are 16. 1 is left again 18. 2 9s are 18. With 7 table, 7 1s are 7 2s are 14. 49 is left. 7 7 is 49. That makes 37.8 divided by 1.4 is equal to 27 is your answer. So last problem in 5th main children. That is 2.73 divided by 1.3. Rewrite this one. 273 by 100 whole divided by 13 by 10. Bring this to the numerator. That means do the reciprocal and then multiply. 10 by 13. 1010 zero, zero, cancel. Now 13 table. 13 ones are 13 twos are 26. And 1 is left here. That means 13 ones are 13. That will be 21 by 10 you got. Again convert 2.1 is your answer. Therefore, 2.73 divided by 1.3 is equal to 2.1. Last and final problem of this exercise. What is your last problem children? We have with one verbal problem. We need to end the chapter now. Look here, sixth one. A vehicle covers a distance of 43.2 kilometers. What is the distance it travels? 43.2 kilometers in 2.4 liters of petrol. See here children, a vehicle travels a distance. In that vehicle, how much amount of petrol they? 2.4 liters petrol they. How much distance will it cover in 1 liter of petrol? How can we get this answer? Yes, imagine. So, before like this verbal problem, we need to multiply them. Now, we know the distance and distance covered and how many liters of petrol given here. How can we get this answer children? Look here carefully. In 2.4 liters of petrol, distance covered by the vehicle is 43.2 kilometers. In 1 liter of petrol, distance covered by the vehicle. How can you get this children? If you are going to divide 43.2 divided by 2.4. You are going to get 1 liter. How much distance is travelled? If you divide these two you are going to get. So look here carefully. Rewrite this. 432 by 10 divided by 24 by 10. That will be... If you want, you can write here 432 by 10 into 10 by 24. 10, 10 cancel. Right? 2 table, 2 12s are. And here 2 2s are, 2 1s are, 2 6s are 12. Now again, so again I go with the 2 table, 2 6s are 12. Now, 2 1s are 2. 2 8s are. You should not put 2. 0, 8 I need to keep here. 6 table I think it can be cancelled. Directly you can go children. 6 1s are 6. 48 is left. That will be 6 8s are. 48 right. What you are left here? 
that is equal to 18. What is this 18? For 1 liter, it covers 18 kilometers distance in 1 liter of petrol. So, some children may get a doubt children. How to do this one? I may give you one more technique also here. Distance. Distance and liters I will write here. Distance, how much it covered? 43.2. How many liters? 2.4. So, how much distance is your question? In 1 liter. Right? So, like this you just uh, make a column children. So, do the into mark like this. 43.2 into 1 into 1 by question mark. We don't know this, right? This into this will be 2.4. If you divide, you are going to get the answer. Or you may put this as x children. Or you may write this x this side also. You can write this is your value. What is this? What is the distance covered in 1 liter of petrol? Directly if you don't understand there, like this you can make column. Distance, okay, 43.2 liters, 2.4 liters, it covered 43.2. In 1 liter, how much distance means? How much? You can assume it as x, okay? This into this divided by this into this, you know, okay? This into this, you do there. And this x, if you want, you can send this side. Denominator, if it goes to this side, it will be multiple. So, x is equal to, if you do this calculation, you are going to get the answer. No miss, I don't want this if you feel. Directly, you can go with that. Right? With this, we are going to end our fractions and decimals chapter, children. If you have any problem or if you have missed any of the problem or exercise in this chapter, you can go through the description box below. When I talk about this chapter, fractions and decimals, it is very important for your mathematics basic. If you know this fractions, decimals, addition, subtraction, or what are all the operations there in this, if you are perfect, you can do any type of calculation in your future classes. This is just the basic, right? If you have any difficulty, keep on practicing these all problems again and again. Practice makes you perfect. If you practice this all perfectly, you will never do wrong in your calculations. You all enjoyed this topic, right? So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you all.